Hi everyone, it's Mike and welcome to my channel. So I'm super excited to be doing this. Just recently I posted the type of content you want to see in my Instagram and a lot of the most popular requests was my skincare routine. I'm going to be doing that. So my routine's not that um, complicated, it's quite simple actually. But before I get into that, I just want to talk about the factors that lead to good skin. So my personal top five. The first one is to get some sleep. So I think it's important to get at least eight hours of sleep. Um, your skin takes time to heal overnight, especially from all the stress that happens throughout the day. Um, that can be from your job, from you know your personal issues or even environmental factors. It's important for your skin to recover from all the events that happen throughout the day. The second one is, is definitely to drink a lot of water throughout the day. Requirement is to do at least two liters a day. I try to drink a lot more, so I drink one glass as soon as I wake up. I just think it flushes out the toxins. And then after I have breakfast, I just have a bit more water with some vitamins. So I think it's important to have some supplements as well, which help the skin. And the third one is not to stress. So, you know, it's part of life. Um, it's just how you handle things because if you stress too much, you'll, you're going to be more prone to break out. Just be calm, just try to meditate, um, try to breathe in and out and try not to let little things get to you. Obviously, there are big life events which happen which can lead to some stresses on the skin. And But yeah, there's always ways to try and help with that. Okay, so the next thing is to exercise. So it's, if you have regular exercise, if you... Uh, work out and you try to sweat a lot, um, it just opens up your pores and it takes out all the crap in the skin. So um, me personally, if I'm breaking out and I see all these like small bumps on my skin, um, I found that working out and sweating it all out really helps. I just feel a lot better afterwards, so it produces a lot of endorphins. Not only that, my skin, um, it just feels more refreshed and it looks a lot better than prior to working out. So Definitely try to exercise. I think it's so important for the skin. And the fifth one is, so this is optional, is to go to a dermatologist. Just to maintain it and you get great advice from them because they know what um, your skincare issues are like. They know what your skin requires just by having a, an assessment. So yeah, I think that's a very good idea as well. Alright, so let's get to it. So I just showered, so my pores are quite open. So I haven't put anything on my skin yet or washed my face because I wanted to make this video for you guys. So the first thing I use is this charcoal face wash. It's by Clinique. Let me just zoom in. Yeah, so that one there. So I found this takes out all the excess oil in the skin. So the charcoal really provides like a deep pore clean. And so it just draws out the dirt and excess oil that can clog the pores, that can lead to breakouts and uh, a lot of pimples. So this really helps, especially during the summer where you know you tend to sweat a lot or even after exercise. So I think this is really good. So I'm just gonna rinse my face. Um, so I use lukewarm water just to open up the pores in the skin. All right, so now my face is dripping wet. I'm gonna put the charcoal face wash Alright, so that's just a big clunk there. So I just rub my palms together and I just do it in circular motions like that. I start off on the sides of my face and then I do my nose. So I'm really prone to blackheads around my nose because my T zone is quite oily. Uh, yeah, so from here to my forehead. So I just do it in circular motions like that. I make my way down. Sorry, I look really weird. Oh, I think my nose disappeared. Look a bit 2D now. Okay, so just focus around the nose. Um, so whichever problem areas you have, just try to focus on them. And then I'll do the forehead now. My forehead gets really oily. Sometimes in my photos, it's just really shiny. That's why this, I think charcoal is just very effective in reducing that. So you just keep doing that like that. So I do it for about two minutes until the charcoal takes effect.
And the thing with this product is don't put it around your eyes because um, the eye area is very sensitive. And yeah, you don't want to burn your eyes or um, you don't want it to become really sore and red. Okay, so after that's done, you just rinse it out again with warm water. So lukewarm again. And then after that, I'm going to put cold water to close the pores. I prefer really cold water, like really, really cold water. <laughs> Okay, so when that's done, I just pat my face dry with a face towel. Um, it's important to just pat your face because if you rub your face, the fibers will scratch your skin. You may not feel it or realize it, but you know, it doesn't do good for the skin. So I just pat it like that. All right, so it's nice and clean now. Okay, so after patting my face dry, I use an active lotion by Le Mer. It's like a liquid and you're only supposed to put like a little bit in your hand or you can put it in a cotton pad. So I found that um, putting it on my hand was a lot better and just rubbing it. And then just going upwards on the skin. And then I just pat it like that with my hand, just so it goes deep in. Okay, so that's done. So personally, I don't like using a cotton pad because I feel like the cotton pad absorbs all the fluids. And one time when I tried to press it on my face, there was just nothing coming out of the cotton pad. I don't know if I didn't put enough, but you know, you don't need to put too much on it. Um, but yes, I just find that it's better on the palms because it doesn't absorb everything um, before you put it on your face. Okay, so when that's all done, I use this peptide serum by The Ordinary. So this is supposed to just even out the skin tone. So before using this, I noticed I had uneven parts of my skin, so this product really helps. It's not too expensive, so it's around, I think, yeah, I don't, just don't quote me, I'll figure it out and then I'll just link you guys below. Um, yeah, so what I do is I place a bit on my forehead, just there, um, pretty much like a triangle, so my forehead, my cheeks, so I just put a drop there, and another drop there. Oh, okay, not really. Okay, so when that's done, I stood in circular motion like that. I stood in a circular motion and then upwards. So pretty much every time I put any products on my face, it's always upwards because you know you want to defy gravity. Okay, so just like that. After that's on the face, I just press it again just so it goes in. Just like that and press it on my forehead. Alrighty, so that's done. Depending on how dry my skin is, I may or may not use anything after the peptide serum. But especially during winter, the skin does get a bit dry. Um, during the summer, obviously, you're perspiring a lot. So it does get a lot oilier. But in case my skin is very dry, so I use another product by Clinique. It's called the M Protect with SPF. So... Every time I go out, I always wear sunscreen. Um, you may or may not feel it, but there's UV rays which really damage the skin throughout the day, um, especially around the afternoon. So I just put like a small bit, um, just put some dots, some artwork on my face. Then I just spread it in a circular motion first, like that.
I notice my mouth does this weird thing where like every time putting product. Don't know why. Do you guys do that as well? Because if you don't, then yes, don't know what's wrong. You know what? It's okay to be weird sometimes. Okay, and then like everything else, you just press it on a bit. And ah, that's done. But I think that the sunscreen in these products isn't always enough. So I put another layer of sunscreen. Um, this one's by Neutrogena. It's an ultra sheer face and body sunscreen. So you can use it on your face and you know, all, all over your body, which is exposed to the sun. Um, so if you're going to the beach or something, it's so important to use sunscreen. So I put this on my face. So like before, I just put it on the three parts of my face and just and a bit on my nose. I should probably put more because Sydney has one of the highest UV rays, which you know it, it can lead to premature aging on the skin. Okay, so that's done. Just press it on. I'll put some on my neck as well because this neck is exposed. You don't want your neck to get damaged. Also, I forgot to mention that you should also moisturize your neck. So I'm going to put a bit of moisturizer there as well. Uh, I'm just going to mix it with the sunscreen. So, oops. So I'm going to use the lotion again. Yeah. So, do that upwards too. <laughs> oh, so that's forgetting to do it earlier. Okay, so that's done. And another thing that I sometimes use, it's also by The Ordinary. It's a caffeine solution, so this helps with puffiness and dark circles around the eyes, um, which I usually have um, because I don't get enough sleep. I'm sorry, but yeah, I try to get my eight hours, but I love staying up late at night. Um, but yeah, so if you put a bit under the eyes, I'm not going to put some now because I feel like I don't need it. Um, you just put like a tiny drop around under your eye area and that reduces the pigmentation and the dark circles around the eye. Um, just make sure you don't put it in your eye by accident um, because it definitely will burn and it happened to me before. It definitely was not a good feeling. So yeah, try to be conscious of um, how close you put it to your eye because the eye is obviously very sensitive and you don't want to damage that in the long term. Okay, thank you so much guys for watching my skincare routine video. I had such a good time making it and I'm glad that I finally got to do it for you guys. Um, it was one of my most highly requested videos and I hope you guys learned something from it. Um, you guys wanted to see my routine for quite a while. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below. Follow me on my Instagram at Michael Francis Enriquez and follow me on my Twitter, Mikey underscore Francis. And also like my Facebook page, which is also my full name. And also let me know what type of videos you guys want to see. Leave a comment below or hit me up on my Instagram. I check my messages quite regularly. So I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!